I'm in the mm. home. Okay. Right. Am I recording? <clears throat> oh. Yeah, okay, I'm recording. All right. You can y'all see me now? You, you see me now? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Um, are we are attempting to uh, do an Erin Hansen style painting, and she doesn't even use this. Did y'all notice that? Mineral wow. spirits? She doesn't use it. Uh, now, however, she might use it in the underpainting. I could not find anywhere where she did not. So, um, I'm going to use it just to, to get it thin enough. And, um, and we didn't talk about this in the previous recording. Um, so, here's what we want to do. I'm going to... She, she sketches out her painting with her brush. And the ones that I looked at, she started kind of in a blue tone. So I just look at what dark blue that I happen to have on... Uh, I'm just going to pick Ultramarine right now. I, I think at one time she sketched in... Uh, cobalt, but I don't have that. Okay, so I'm just going to look at the big shapes for now. Here's the ground. That's where the tree will be. Go off here. I have some cool through here. There's kind of a eh, just a different part of ground. We had this uh, shape. Light. If I squint my eyes, there's a lot of light in here. There's a lot of light in here. Um, this is just to kind of plan my underpainting. This is not to paint yet. And then my background, uh, mountainish, somewhere in there. That doesn't tell you much, does it? So my darkest dark, though, is right up in here, kind of in this corner, and right over in here. But it goes, it goes all the way. Do you see that right mm -hmm. in there? So I'm going to just kind of much get a bigger pencil, pencil, bigger. So this is just your underpainting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are I you just... going to be able to paint on top of it today, or it's not going to be drying? Oh, no, you will. But see, mm -hmm. if you do it her method, now a grant don't. I mean, this is my guess of her method. I have not been trained. Because hers is really thin. I mean, yeah, the uh, first coat looked like it had been really thin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's thin, and I'm getting a little cooler as it goes up. But her method is wet on wet. If you've looked at her uh, site, and y'all have looked at it some more than I have, but wet on wet, um, with her method of just, she lays in the color and leaves it alone. Mm -hmm. See, so we lay it, it in and keep messing yeah. with it, mm -hmm. and then it becomes mud. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so, because her method is to lay it in and leave it alone, um, then I think that's why it works. Now, one of the things that I did read is she uses the blues and the purples for her underpainting where the shadows are, or where it's darker. So, that's kind of what I've been doing in some of my other painting anyway. So, I thought, well, okay, that... That'll make sense. And then uh, she uses some of the magenta colors and the other to... Uh, Have you used the same blue the whole time? No, I, I, okay. I, a little bit of both. Okay. I'm you know, I, I have a hard time. Just, back here. Over on the left. Okay. okay. Can, can everybody see what I'm yes. doing? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay. So, again, I'm just... Scumbling in, very thin. Ooh, that's a little too... Yeah, I won't worry about it. You're using a flat brush or a crappy brush? No, yeah, just flat. Okay. It's not a expensive one. It's one that you know, came out of that, that kit. Yeah. That, that I gave you. That, yeah, that $10 yeah. for five oh, brushes. I thought that was a high quality kit. It, <laughs> it's, it's, it's great for what it is. Yeah. And I'm, because this is even uh, kind of warm or cool over in this corner, I'm going to keep it blue undertones. Because this just gets rid of the white of the canvas, even though mine wasn't totally white. Um, 
it's, it's just going to lay in. So that way, if you if you know if you're doing that stained glass effect and you don't hit everything, all the pieces don't connect. That's fine because you got color into it. <coughs> oh, okay. So I, to me, again, that's one thing that that makes sense with her <coughs> is um, she can do that stained glass effect and um, and leave open areas. Now that's probably a little too too runny. I might even hit it with a paper towel and take off <coughs> some of it, but I don't, I don't, ooh, that's getting too dark. Oh, mm -hmm. That's too dark. Paper towel break. Mm -hmm. So you can paint with paper towels. It's awesome. So I'm going to just do that because I don't want the mineral spirits to be uh, so runny. Another technique. Very helpful. Um, up in here, I want something that's warmer for underpainting. And um, sometimes she, I mean, she's used a variety of colors, but I think I'm going to go with one of these uh, paler pinks, even though there's pink in the tree, there's a lot more going on up there. And this might not be, I mean, y'all doesn't mean y'all have to pick, pick this color, so that's, that's getting dull. I don't like that because even though yellow is going to be back there and yellow is complement to purple, I don't really want it that Dull. I'm going to go with the lighter color. Mm. I'm going to pick up a little purple. I'm going to put some of that down in here. Now, you know, I'm guessing, you know, I can add some white to my blue to lighten it up, which probably should have been what I did, more light, more white. There, that's better. I wanted more white because I want it cooler. If I just use mineral spirits, then uh, it doesn't always give me the light that I want. And I see in the background there, a, uh, kind of a pale, pale blue-green, and I'm going to come back with thicker colors, but uh, just but you kind of get a feel to me, uh, and, and she might not be doing as much of uh, of this. That's what I'm doing. That's see that see how dull that is. I don't like that. Just wipe it out. I want a more intense color, so I'm going to go back to this pink again that's brighter. And I'll have other things over it, but I would rather have a brighter tone underneath and um, maybe even some of the orange. One way to kill a brush. Hmm. Okay, what happens when orange and, and blue mix? You get brown sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, mud. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you have to be careful here because this blue is is damp. So, but see how I mean I can drag it in there and get some some greens and that's okay. Um, but I'm I'm getting too much green up here because I really don't want green there because it's not what she has and I'm trying to be a little more selective. She doesn't. She does more solid blocks in her underpaintings, but I'm I'm trying to help myself along <laughs> and be a little, you know, so it helps me know kind of where things are. And if it doesn't, uh, if I don't fill in the space, then uh, I'm I'm okay with it. So now I have pretty much enough of what I would consider an underpainting that's just 
blocking in large shapes. The this that's probably a little well this will be more intense later and balance that out. But now I'm going to come in and um, draw the trees and and work around that. It's not going to be you know, won't be exact. <coughs> So I'm picking up some blues and that dark purple that I mixed. And I'm looking up here. The base of the tree is somewhere along in here. And that's a little too blue. But again, this is just, this is sketching out. This is not the, the final. Um, Carrie, can I take a picture, please? Yeah. That's a funky looking tree right now. Ah. Promise it'll get better. You ready? Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime. You're fine. All right. So here, here's the kind of horizon edge of that part of the land. I have some darker land coming in back here. This tree is going to be much wider. Got this purple. I like this darker better. And then it's going to break off here. Just yeah. like that. Like four strokes. <laughs> and I uh, see I'm just hanging on the edge of the I turn the brush sideways. Mm -hmm. Right. I do too. This doesn't look this good. <laughs> 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 and let's see, there's another big branch coming up here. Mm -hmm. That's sick. Mm -hmm. I You need something? Are you sick now? No, no, I'm great now. You are great. You're right. I said I'll, I'll give you some medicine no, if you no, need no. it. Good. And I'm kind of letting the brush bounce a little bit. I'm, you know, I'm not. All of these are not solid. Right. And and I don't think you want solid because then you have things you have to go over. Is that and still thinned with mineral spirit? No. Just paint. Good question. No, it's it's getting thicker. Alright, so um, I'm okay with that part of the tree. And we have some darker thing back in here. There is just a very slight illusion of another tree coming back here and it's thinner lighter and there's just not much paint on my brush do you see that right there mm -hmm. yes okay so again that's by having it lighter in tone uh it's going to read distance hmm. if, it, if that was as dark as this it would pull it up I think that's what my trees in my painting are doing they're too, they so too lighter in now i need to well, i didn't <coughs> see that now I'm going to come over here and do this cool branch that comes out across almost the entire painting. You know, my eye makes her, in her painting, makes her branches solid. But when you say don't do that, then when I look back at her painting, none of her branches are solid. But my eye sure makes it Well, solid. it's because your eye, it, it connects. It's yeah. like it connects the uh -huh. dots. Yeah. It's like when you get those words a little bit backwards. Yes. So you do it, and yeah. your eye makes those correct. Your, yeah, your brain, it makes sense to your brain. Because in her painting, her branches are so bold. And but then she has a lot of little bitty funky ones that I think, when I if I had done an underpainting in um, purple, up here, uh -huh. I could, and if it was in, acry in an acrylic, then I could use that wipeout tool and just oh, lift yeah. off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that's kind of what I did when I painted Dinah's mm -hmm. picture. I, um, the living on the edge, but because you're painting like stained glass and you're going around objects, uh, she to me, it's going to be easier if you put more of your tree in than if you don't but leave some gaps for the the foliage and stuff because you don't want it all to be uh, a solid 
line. I'm going to have to make, you know, obviously this is too thin. I want that much thicker. Maybe my, not that thick, but it is now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Well, you can wipe. I, I could. I could, but I'm not going to fool with it. Okay, then I'm looking at this background. There's this hill that comes in and then down, and it kind of connects to one that goes up from here. Y'all seeing that? Mm -hmm. That part right there? I have it lit this down a little bit. And then I have this coming in here. So this front greenish, I mean, uh, pinky tones mm -hmm. in through here. This is going to be darker. I should have made that darker for the underpainting, so I'm going to do that right now. Mm -hmm. Anybody time me how long I've done? 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. that's, that's how long that one's on. Right. I'm going to take a picture. Help okay. yourself. Okay, and then there's other trees back in here. I'm going to go ahead and sketch in some of those. But they're off this back, this faded bit. They're coming in from here. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. All right. Again, I don't. they don't need to be as dark. Or as heavy as uh, the ones here. If you use uh, short choppy lines that actually reads more natural than if you use curvy lines for trees and I've been trying to do that more but see, you know you get the curve but it's because of short little choppy angles. Mm -hmm. So when you're drawing a tree try to think of Straight line, straight line, straight line, uh, you know, straight line, straight line, straight line. And that's one reason why I like to, to paint a tree with with this straight brush, flat brush. But I don't want it to get too stiff. See, you don't want it to look like lumber. <laughs> nah. like, like that's looking, you know, lumber's lovely cut. And that's actually a little dark, what I just put in there. I want something leading into the painting And then we have some smaller ones further back. Okay. All right, see so when I back up, this could have been a little more exaggerated, kind of come in and you know, angle like this. But you have this big tree branch that goes off and I mean you know oops I probably got right in front of That's you. Okay. okay. Everybody get a picture of that? Mm -hmm. And the trunk was of oh, your blues. Blues and purples. I just looked at what was dark on my palette. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um do y'all want to get this far in yours so that you actually are painting today? <sighs> I'd rather oh, see you do it. I will too. Can, can you do my TCR stained glass just effect? One little section of yeah. leaves. It doesn't matter where, whatever you would normally do next. We 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 wouldn't yeah. know what to do at all oh, yeah. unless we saw you. Paint well, I mean, I'm not saying I would stop here. Right, I know that. I would just let y'all get you know your palette mixed and your underpainting done. Well, that would take us it's always two o'clock. <laughs> yeah, it's two o'clock. It, it takes us thirty minutes to mix our palettes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good home. day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hillary's over here so groaning. And I know. Moaning. I'm feeling pretty chill here. <laughs> just watching you. Well, okay. If that's okay with you, teacher, teacher. Hey, there's some kettle popcorn in there. I've already helped myself to it. If y'all want, I'm, that's homemade. I know, you told that me you made it last time. Mm -hmm. You offered it to me last time. <laughs> Y'all eat it, please, stuff. because we're, we're, we don't want to eat it. Okay. I mean, we've eaten it, Skinny we people. don't eat well. It's because I've learned to limit myself a little bit. I can I can splurge a little bit, but I don't need to splurge in every aspect. Mm -hmm. Okay, is this still going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, <gasps> where to start? That's a really good question. See, she was um, just trying to get out. Yeah, I was. It didn't work. <laughs> we didn't fall for it. No, I'm okay with that. Um, and and I know she uses various uh, brushes. 
I'm going to use one that's fairly stiff. I don't use this very often, and we'll just see. I usually use a, a flat brush. I'm just experimenting with this more rounded one. Uh, one of the things I actually love to paint with was those little bitty spatula looking things back there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's right it's right by the rulers. Pull the pull a bit the tall one, very very tall section right by the rulers. It's got a white tip. Right there. The just rulers. past it. Look right at the inside the, the rulers. Middle. There you go. Grab that. This one? Grab yes. that, yeah. He's a subtracty guy. No, not not necessarily. Hand it to me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, see this one? This right here, it's 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 like painting icing. So if you you know, if you want to try something other than a palette knife, now I know she doesn't do this, but I'm just gonna show you. Um okay, so I'm gonna I'm looking at the pink up up in here. Um, yeah, that's right. Add all all your paint Christmas supplies. Yeah. I already sent out pictures of this stuff. I'm low on. Uh, so this is what I want. How helpful of you. Mm -hmm. All right. So the thing, I, I mean, you can do the kids. same thing with a brush. For Amazon Prime, what they want. <laughs> but I kind of like I like this. This is what I painted the one in the, the half bath. Mm -hmm. And because then you don't mix, you don't mix as much. Yeah. Now your brush. And this is real easy to clean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wipe it off. So, um, but you can, I mean, you can still do the same thing. But I'm, you know, just to throw that out. But you load your brush. You, you're you laying in. Because you're not, you're not um, mixing the colors. You're putting them side by side. They'll stay vibrant. If you, if you mix them. And, and so you're moving from color to color right next to each other. Right. Well, you could. Right. Now, I, what, what I've seen her do is she'll look and she'll go, okay, I have, no, not that she's right. saying this. Right. You know, but she okay, there's orange here, 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 here. And don't be too spotty, but lay it, you, know, you just look for where it is, almost like paint by number. Mm -hmm. And there's some orange big strokes over here. There's a lot of orange in through here. And I can leave gaps between it because I have that underpainting. And I might just say, oh, I might want to go ahead and do some of that other... That's a little... That, that's the, the value of that's too dark. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. I know it's too dark then, then I'm going to go ahead and correct it mm -hmm. and just come over with something else and um, so I know that. Okay, so. Okay, but. so that's what we're aiming for is just putting little. Now she, I'm looking if you. Some of her shapes are not dabby. Oh, they're, they're not. not. They're she, you you regular, do, they're elongated. Yeah, and you want, yeah. You, this is like. Pointillism or whatever that style is. Oh, called. pointillism is all dots. Oh, dot, 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 dot. Mm -hmm. These are big dot, dot. Well, and you're you're oh, painting up there on the wall that you that, where you call maybe you can come in and draw mm -hmm. those later. I mean, you, you those, those are leaf shapes. shapes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they, they can be yeah. different yeah. shapes. Them, yeah. So don't get hung those up on a dab. Too hard to you used a brush on yes. that one up there, I though. I bet she does some of those. I did. Okay. Did you use? Is that a filbert in your hand? Is that what mm -hmm. that's called? That's a filbert. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, that's a. It looks a hot mess, and that's what. Ah! But it's it. That's the frustrating part to me of this, is, you know, you want to put in different things side by side. And you want it. I mean, it. And again, she, you you create different shapes. Don't don't do them all the same. You want to make a variety. And of course, I started off with the same there, but. So she doesn't use a palette knife at all? I don't think she does. Yeah, other than to mix her paints. Looks to me like she uses these giant brushes when you watch her videos. Yeah, that's all I see. Almost like chip brushes, those. Like paint brushes? Uh -huh. like, mm -hmm. Yeah, like paint Just wall cheap brushes. Old mm -hmm. brushes. Yeah. brushes, yeah. Mm -hmm. But to me, the, the, the hardest part is like, okay, where my lights are, where my lights are, I want... I want to I want to show that, uh, and see I'm already going back and messing with stuff. It's so hard just to put down one stroke. And uh, one. I don't know why. 
But you, you know, you go on either oh, side. You're not here to create a masterpiece. No, nope. you're here to practice. You, exa- a thank you, Susan. That's <laughs> exactly so right. you, is that what I'm going to be doing? Because I won't be getting a masterpiece. I need to write that down. I need to write that down. Mm-hmm. But I am not here to paint a masterpiece. But I'm coming <laughs> in. I'm, you know, create. You can like, oh, this. If you want to do, okay, this is stained glass. So if you want to think of it more as stained glass, okay, this is a piece of glass. That's a piece of glass. That's a piece of glass. That's a piece of glass. Gosh, that's so pretty. And I want it a little brighter here. So she's a gazillion little lines in there. Mm-hmm. Does she go back and put them on afterwards, do you think, Carrie? Yeah. That's what Hillary and I were just talking about. The tiny All those line. tiny little the purple tiny lines branches. everywhere. Uh, I, yeah, that's a really good question. I don't. I don't know. Why uh, some of the leaves are actually her and ask her. Yes. I think a lot of it. Some of them are maple shaped leaves. She has it already drawn, mm. and she works around it. Jeez. But then she awful. might turn her brush. So okay, like I'm, let me go lay in some. Yeah. Well, Carrie, on that one up there, uh-huh. did you put in all the trees first? I did. Really? Mm. And I worked around it. Mm. All and those, some of how the about leaves those little even have tiny ones. Uh huh. The purple, the leaves now, even have purple lines around them. A, cu- a couple of them I lifted out ah. because I did a, I did a um, dark purple underpainting. I did acrylic underpainting on yeah. that one. But see, I don't, I don't like the. But from here, like there's not enough that. variation in it. Uh uh-uh. uh yeah. like You know, and then you you cover some of it up because you don't want it all. Uh, if, if you don't like what you're doing with this style, you almost need to get that wipeout tool and just scrape it off, right? Probably. Because you, you're not supposed to pick at it and blend it, so that's about the only way to that's a good maneuver it. That's or a good something point. like that's that big spatula thing she just pulled uh-huh. out. That's almost like a wipe, wipeout uh-huh. tool. Wipeout it's just a tool. huge one. Uh-huh. But, to, you know, because it's wet, you are picking up some of what's underneath. Do you think she's using a brush for each color? No. That way she's not mixing into it. I just think she cha- I think she cha- I think she cleans her brush between colors. Okay. But I was, you know, what she she does, I'm changing colors probably way more than what I should. Cause she uh, seems to do all of one color. She yeah. does one, all of one color, yeah. and then she comes. It's it's, it's like paint by number. Mm-hmm. But she has days to do hers. Carrie's on and she done spends here. hours yeah. thinking about it. Yeah, and she's planned it. I mean, I'm. This is like on the fly. Well, and it said go. on her blog that she paints one big painting a week. Mm-hmm. So, some of them and were like five thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. So she's making some serious money. The little ones are five thousand. Yes. The yes. big ones are probably hundred thousand. Uh, who knows. Well, all I know is she's doing something fantastic, and she's happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good for her. And I'm not uh, sure that yeah, she's, you're, able to get you this are the one who asked for this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's I'm be like this. My, no, all I said was that's <laughs> lovely. I didn't think I could do that. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. Uh, all right, oh, but see, I, you know, okay, I, have, I like that the blue now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that looks pretty. So pretty. you know, I want some of that. Peeking through Definitely. over here. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're going to get it. You're just going to do it in a slightly different way to get there. Okay, yes. so you did a magenta and purple acrylic underpainting on that one up there. That's At least that's what I see on the edge. Pro- whatever's on the side. On the sides, okay. Yeah. Oop. Oopsie. I didn't wipe my brush. One, one way to make mud, or one way to avoid making mud... And uh, I read a blog the other day where Russian painters are known for wiping their brush between every stroke. Mm. Really? Mm-hmm. So, but if you if you want to if you want to keep true colors, pure colors, not straight out of the tube colors, but pure mm-hmm. mixed colors, you you clean your brush. See how dirty that is right there? Mm-hmm. You know, I can. Yeah, with my lovely dirty paper towel, lift that off. But yeah, I could have probably just gone. That does pretty good too. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do some light blue uh, to create a little bit of sky. This might be too dark. Yep, too dark. Mm. 
because it's right on the horizon, so That's I fine. want it lighter. I might want a little touch of pink in my sky, like we talked about. Just making uh, some slight changes. And I, you know, I, you know, this brain where you, it, you want pattern, your, your mind wants pattern. So I have to just make myself do different shapes. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to get into the, oh, that's a shape. That's, that, that's a brush stroke. Stay with that brush stroke. It doesn't work that way. It's not very good that way. Anyway, is this making sense? Yes, mm -hmm. but on some of those leaves up there, you have a very light yellow, orange on the left side, and the, a darker orangey red on the right side to reflect the, where the light's coming from. So did you oh, I'm not, go are, back? Where are you talking about? We're talking about your original. Oh, the original. Wall. Oh, oh, that one. Yeah. So yeah. did you go back and make sure that you had some really light spots? On at those the very leaves. end, did you highlight? At some? the end, did you? I just it? tried to copy what she had on hers. Mm. I mean, it, it, was, it, it was it it was rather mind boggling. And some of her leaves are like little maple shaped leaves. How the heck did she do that? But well, I mean, Carrie did that it must too. be at the end. Oh, well, yeah. Well, yeah. we drew them. Little... We drew them out. You drew them. Yeah, because they were up close. You wouldn't do that on this. Yeah. Because they're clumps. Right. They're far away. Yeah. And, um, you know, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't want them that close. Yeah. All right, but I can already tell, you know, I don't have enough. Now, this, this is starting to work. And, you know, this, these are too big and globby. Uh, to be uh, leaves that are far away, they can they can be leaves that are far away, but I don't want them to be. I, they're too too much of a brush stroke look to me. Do you find that the using the brush or that little uh, other rubber tool thing. was better? I probably like the other tool better. The rubber thing. It's it's like painting with icing. Okay. Uh, and, and what is that called exactly? I have no idea. I, the I, rubber thing. I it think like it's when just Hillary, another wipeout tool. If yeah, you look at it, it wipeout looks you go like through a Hillary goes just a huge one. Weekend. You know, it's a huge Tell us what the tool. official That's what I think it is. Cause I think Gail's got one of those. A ask them for well, it. Well, it, it came, tool it came in a yeah. set. <laughs> it came in a set, and there was maybe six. And this was one of the fattest ones the might have been might be the fattest Mondo wipeout tool. so you could almost if you had all six of those like using use different ones then too <laughs> oh yeah 